Thank you. Hi everyone. For those who are just joining, I'm Simon Cohen. I represent the Aardvark Israel program. Um, we have three different programs in Israel. Um, I'll be talking about the Aardvark Israel program now. I am posting in the chat um, a, a link and you can click on that link and leave us your contact information. I don't envision there being time for questions at the end of this presentation. Um, if I take too long, Mimi from Hebrew U will be upset with me and I never like to upset Mimi. Um, so, uh, so we're gonna go quick. Uh, there's a lot of uh, information to get through and, uh, and I'm gonna start now. So the Aardvark Israel, Pro Aardvark Israel organization is, a, is, a pro is an organization that runs gap year programs for Jewish students from all over the world, age 17 to 21. Um, Right now, we're going to talk about the Aardvark Israel program, gap year and semester program. It is Israel's largest single gap year program with uh, probably when you come somewhere between three and 350 people will be on the program. Um, underlying all of our programs, as I've said before, for those who are joining uh, for the third presentation in a row, is, is, this under, is this immersion into Israeli society. You want to come to Israel and feel like you belong, feel like you live here, get to know the language, the people, the culture, the country, and, and the food, everything you could possibly imagine. It's very much an Israeli immersion program. Um, we um, also very much focused on personal and professional development. You're going to hear us, um, you're going to hear me talking about, uh, talking about that as we go through. But whilst we want you to deepen your connection to Israel and explore your Jewish identity, we're also very much about, you know, you becoming a more mature young adult whilst on our program. Um, and we're very much focused on professional development. And Gap Year is a great opportunity to really build up your resume, build up your CV, get some professional work experience, get some additional life skills, et cetera, et cetera. And as I go through and explain this program, I think that will become clear what that means. The beautiful thing about our program is that you're gonna connect with young Jewish students from all over the world, from across the, uh, from across the spectrum. From, uh, it's like a microcosm of the world Jewish community. Um, this program is very much about you. So we have people coming from religious backgrounds, secular backgrounds, traditional backgrounds, everything in between. Plus, they're coming from all over the world. So you've got, you've got, you've got to imagine there's you coming from Melbourne or Sydney or Perth, uh, and you're living in an apartment with you know a kid from Sao Paulo, another kid from Antwerp, a kid from New York, and a kid from London, and a kid from Johannesburg. When else in your life are you ever going to get the opportunity to do something like that? And that's definitely a highlight of the program that students will tell you time and again, especially with Australians. But that's a really, it's a really big drawing point for our, for our program and, and something that students love about the program. We also have one of the best staff to student ratios of any programs in Israel. It's 12 to 15 students to one madrich or madricha, the counsellors. And they live in the same building as, you, building as you and they're there to help and to be there as and when you need them. Now, the Aardvark Israel program um, specializes in customizing your experience in Israel. This is not a program that is based on the ideology of a youth movement specifically or what your parents want you to do or what your school wants you to do. And we're not pushing any sort of agendas, hidden or otherwise. It's very much about what you want to do on your gap year program in Israel. You get one gap year, you should do the things you're passionate about and that you want to do and will make, it, make you have a meaningful experience here in Israel. And as I go through the program, that will become clear. It starts with the length of time you come for. We have a semester option, a semester plus option, and a full gap year option. Now, if you're coming for one semester, you get to live in one of our cities, either Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. And if you come for the entire year, you get to live in both of those cities. Now, they're two very different cities. You get two very different experiences by living in each of these cities. So I really encourage you, if you can, to come for the entire year. The way it works is that you come in January and you can pick either Tel Aviv or Jerusalem. Um, then you, and you do that until the end of May. In June to August, we send students to work in an American Jewish summer camp. And for those who want to extend and do the entire year, you get to come back and you do the city you weren't already in. Um, you can see here how it also interacts with the Northern Hemisphere. Everybody starts the city in January on the same day. So you're fully integrated into the Northern Hemisphere program as well. Um, in fact, we don't really differentiate once you all start on in January. Now, on our program, we pride ourselves on a location. In Tel Aviv, we're in the Florentine neighborhood, one of the coolest, trendiest neighborhoods. It is busy all day and all night. It's 10 minutes to the beach. It's a phenomenal location. Students absolutely love it. It's a really, really great neighborhood. In Jerusalem, we're in the Machane Huda neighborhood, or right next to Machane Huda. It's a 10 minute walk to the old city, Jerusalem. It's right next to downtown Jerusalem. And you're like one minute from the shuk, from the, from the market. Um, and it's a really great place. Also busy all day and all night, but in very different ways. And it's a really great location. Now, on our program you're living in apartments and you are fully furnished fully equipped apartments and we hope you're learning life skills on our program how to cook how to clean how to do your own budgeting how to do your own grocery shopping um, all of those kind of things we are there to help if you need it 
It is nevertheless about you coming young, independent adults and learning these life skills on our program. We are also not a coercive program. So on our program, we have apartments that are kosher and Shoma Shabbat, apartments that are kosher, but not necessarily Shoma Shabbat, and apartments that are not kosher and not Shoma Shabbat. Everyone should be comfortable in their apartment because your apartment is your home and everyone should be comfortable in their home. In terms of the program itself, there are three key aspects to the core program. There's the internships and volunteering, which take place four days a week, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from around 10 to around 2.30 in the afternoon. There is the academic classes and the classes itself, itself which you, as you see, take place in and around the, the internships and volunteering. And then every single Tuesday, the entire day is set aside for our field trips, which I'll talk about in one minute. Every evening there's activities going on, some are optional and some are mandatory, and there's the weekends. And the weekends are predominantly free on our program, but there are some optional, there are some mandatory Shabbatonium and a few optional ones as well. We'll start talking about the internships and volunteering. We have over 200 options in each city for you to choose from. And it's a great opportunity to build up your resume, build up your CV, do something you're passionate about. Maybe it's gonna be something you see for a potential future career. Maybe it's a chance to do something you've never done before and will never have the opportunity to do again. And a gap year is the perfect time to do it. So whether you wanna work in a high tech startup company, political think tank, an NGO, TV, radio, newspaper, Maybe you want to intern with a fashion designer, with a jewellery designer. You want to be in a law firm, an architect firm, doing medical research. You can do uh, marine biology, um, industrial design. I, I can keep going on. I think you get the idea. If you want to go the more volunteering kind of route, you can be in a school, kindergarten, old age home, soup kitchen, work with victims of terror, with African refugees. You can work in archaeological dig. You can work with animals in a zoo, veterinarian, the vet. Therapeutic Writing Center, Animal Chef, there's loads of different options for you. I think you get the idea. And it's really about you picking something you're going to be passionate about and excited about. You're interacting with Israelis on a daily basis, immersing yourself in Israeli society, using and improving and, and building on your Hebrew experience and making Israeli friends whilst also building up your resume. And it's a really great opportunity to do that kind of thing. Um, in addition, there is classes going on. There's different types of classes. There's more academic classes. If you're thinking of studying in America, Canada, or in Israel, you can do our academic program. It's fully accredited through Portland State University, and, and you can learn all lots of different subjects, lots of different topics, Jewish, Zionist, secular, like psychology, business, politics, history, geography, literature, loads of different things available to you. Alternatively, if you want to do our mini courses, that's for people who don't want to do the academic classes, but want to still learn. Uh, we've got lots of different topics in Judaism and Zionism. They're five week mini courses. You can choose a bunch of them each semester, ranging from Jewish humor to Israeli art to uh, Jewish films to five Jew ten opinions. And it's really phenomenal courses. You're also doing Hebrew. Everyone on the program is learning Hebrew. We've got lots of different levels, ranging from people who've never seen the alphabet to people who've grown up speaking Hebrew all of their lives in their homes because their parents are Israeli. And we've got every level in between that as well. So you can choose a mixture of these different types of classes, more academic, the mini courses. We also have Chugim. Um, that's things like yoga, creative art, creative writing, spoken Arabic, photography, drama, all sorts of different things. And you can pick and choose what you do and how you do this academic part of the program itself. And then every single Tuesday, we've got field trips all over Israel. Many of our students have been to Israel before, some of them many times before. So what we want to do is take you off the beaten track to what we like to call the hidden gems of Israel, those secret places that tourists don't go to. Even Israelis don't get to some of the places we go to, and that's every single week of the program we're doing these amazing tours over over israel plus three times per semester we do longer trips where we spend a few days in the golan heights the galil the negev desert the judean desert so you really get to see the length and breadth of israel whilst on our program but not like a tourist much more like a local would see it every evening there's activities going on some are run by our uh, madrachim some are run by our campus rabbi that's more jewish learning for those who want it um, and otherwise you're just enjoying the city you live in whether it's uh, going paintballing or rock climbing or whether it's going to a, 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 a soccer game or a concert or an art exhibit there's always something going on um, and we, we want you to experience that as much as possible in addition each of our, our program is quite big but we break you down into communities of about 50 people and each community is then paired with a mechina program and you get to do regular activities with the mechina program um, not just like a, a two-hour uh, encounter but actually overnight trips long you know day long to your live lots of different things with the same mechina with the same so you're meeting a mechina is for israelis doing a gap year so they're your age and then they're doing it before they go into the army so you're interacting with israelis your age throughout the program as well. So you're meeting people from all over the world and Israelis your age. So you're making friends with, with absolutely everybody from all over the world, including Israelis. 
That's the core program. If you want to customize your experience further, you can choose from our different add-ons that we offer. Now, these cost a little bit or even a lot of extra money. So you only do them if you're genuinely interested in them and if it fits in with your family budget for the program itself. One is our seller Jewish enrichment track. And that's for people who want more opportunities for Jewish learning and spiritual growth whilst on our program in an open, non-coercive environment. It is not a strictly orthodox program where you have to dub in three times a day or as the dress code. What it is going to do is increase your knowledge about Judaism through lots of different incredible educational opportunities and for you to make your own informed decision about what it means to be Jewish, how to practice and how to observe your Judaism. We also have a sea sports add on, which is exactly as it sounds once a week in the second semester doing different sea activities on the ocean, whether it's sup yoga or, or, or kite surfing or windsurfing or sailing or whatever or scuba diving, whatever it is, but doing that. If you're interested in sea sports, it's a phenomenal opportunity. You can volunteer with Magen David Adon with the Israeli Ambulance Service. You can be in Mada, uh, sorry, with, yeah, with, with, with the Israeli Ambulance Service. You can do Marva, which is basic training in Israeli army. We have an entrepreneurship track for people interested in business and entrepreneurship and it's different workshops, guest speakers and field trips once a week, all to do with entrepreneurship and business in Israel. And then we have our Ardvok Extreme program. That's for people who are adrenaline junkies and they need their adrenaline fix on their gap year program. And it's doing different, crazy, amazing extreme sports once a week whilst you're on our program in the first semester. You also get the opportunity to do international travel. These are international add-ons. And we offer short trips, five or six days long, to different countries around the world over the course of our program. We offer the opportunity to go to Ethiopia, Italy, Germany, Spain, Czech Republic, and China whilst on our program, seeing the main tourist sites whilst on our program, the Great Great Wall of China Colosseum in Rome, flamenco dancing, or Barcelona soccer game in Spain, seeing the main tourist sites. At the same time, we're a Jewish educational program, so we want to understand the Jewish narrative in each of these countries as well, and we do that by interacting with local Jewish communities, both the leaders and Jewish students who are your age, to get the peer perspective of what it's like to be a Jew growing up on each of these programs as well. And as a Zionist program, we do a seminar on the Israeli embassy in each of the countries we go to, where you get to meet and interact with the Israeli ambassador usually, or and a bunch of his or her staff, to understand Israel's relationship with each country individually. And the more countries you go to, you get to understand Israel's place in the world, and Israel's place in the international community. You can pick all the trips, one trip, three trips, it's completely up to you. A bit different from that is on a pool cultural exchange program, which for people really interested in Tikkun Olam and volunteering, um, we do a, a, a two week volunteer program in a Himalayan mountain village, living in mud huts or wooden, with, living in wooden shacks, or, or, or uh, with no electricity, no running water, um, doing things like building greenhouses, building irrigation ditches, painting schools, all sorts of things like that, really making a difference to these villagers' lives. And it's an incredible opportunity also to, to live underneath the Himalayan mountain or in the Himalayan mountains, see the main tourist sites of Kathmandu. It's a really phenomenal experience. We also the op offer the opportunity to go to Poland and do a March of the Living experience, either with March of the Living or we do it separately and privately. Either way, we'll offer it. Um, that's to learn all about the Jewish community in Europe up to and including the Second World War and learn all about the destruction in the Second World War and see the places where that actually happened as well. The final add-on we offer is um, working in American Jewish summer camp. We've paired up with NJY camps, the largest Jewish summer camp in America, over 5,000 campers. You can work in seven different camps, younger kids, older kids, work with kids with special needs, you can work in religious camps. And in addition, we, um, you, um, you, we do a tour of New York City and a tour of Washington DC on the way to the camp as well. So it's a really incredible opportunity. Um, and the program starts on January the 10th and it goes through to December the 27th. I'm running out of time, so I kind of have to skip that and tell you that I've talked very quickly and we've got a lot more to talk about. So on Tuesday at 7.15 Melbourne time, I will be offering um, a, a, a slower, more relaxed presentation and also an opportunity for question and answers throughout the time. If you're interested in the chat, I posted a link. Please click on that link. Please leave us your contact information and we will follow up with you and we will get back to you and we'll invite you to this presentation, which again is 7.15 Melbourne time, seven o'clock, sorry, seven o'clock Melbourne time on Tuesday, a full long presentation with question and answers as well. Thank you very much for your time. I'm going to stop talking now so, I, uh, so Mimi can have a go because um, I think I've uh, used all my time. Is anyone still there? Thank you, Simon. Um, we'll wait for any questions to come up. Okay, I'm posting my uh, the link in the chat again. Um, and uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask now or join us on, send us your contact information and uh, we'll be in touch with you. And you're also welcome to join on Tuesday evening for another presentation and question and answer session. Thank you to Masa in Australia, Ramona, Mai, Thank you for hosting us. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs>
And uh, I will, oh, there's two questions. I'll quickly try and answer them and then I'll hand over to Mimi. Uh, how does this flow into the YALA program? It doesn't flow into the YALA program. If you want to do the YALA program, you cannot do our gap year program, I'm sorry. Um, we start on January the 10th. We will not let people come late. Uh, that's different. different answer for if you're at Scopus. What is the cost? The cost really depends on which program you choose. Um, so I, it's, it's kind of hard for me to answer. I, there's lots of questions now coming in. I'm sorry. Um, I, I have to get, I've, I've run out of time. I'm sorry. Um, I'm happy to answer all your questions. Please join us on Tuesday evening. I will answer all of your questions. I promise. I, there's like seven questions now. I can't answer them all. Uh, or can I? Do you want to maybe just answer a few of them are overlapping? What's the cost and the, the cost? So the cost really depends. The semester program, the like five month with no extra add ons or anything like that is 12,990 US dollars. The camp is 13,990 US dollars. You are able to apply for Massa. Massa needs based scholarship and also Israel Go as well. Uh, the payment is actually due if you well the payment is actually due to, the deposit is kind of due tomorrow but <coughs> bearing in mind i just did this just pay as soon as you can because we're running out of spaces to be honest um so you should pay as soon as you can the deposit is fully refundable until november the first so it doesn't have to be your final decision you won't lose any like massive financial um, amount of money the program starts on january the 10th um so um so you can join on, on january the 10th and uh and it goes through to different times. Is there a break between first semester and Camp USA? Yes, there is about a two week period between the first semester and Camp USA. Um, there's a few days we'll give you a bit of vacation time and then, um, and, then, and then we'll do some extra activities with you and get you ready for camp and then we'll send you to work in camp. <sighs> Any other questions? I think we've closed the questions now. I'm happy to answer as many questions as you like on Tuesday. Please join us on Tuesday. Please send us your contact information and we will answer every and all of your questions on Tuesday. Thank you very much to Massa. Thank you to everybody who listened. I really appreciate it. Uh, and, um, you know, Mimi, it was nice to see you. It's over to you in a second. Thanks, Simon. Thanks. Bye, all.